Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn about Chapter Six, the rise of independent kingdoms. So, in the previous class, we learned about the decline of Mughal empires or emperors, then later Mughals, and when I spoke about the later Mughals, we have seen a gist of it that already in southern part of and northern part of our India. There is already a independent kingdoms began. Understand? Independent kingdoms began. So, so let us get into the northern part of India where the independent kingdoms began. So first and foremost, our month is given here in the textbook page fifty-one, and the first paragraph it is given that the northern part of India, our month, it's okay, is known in British historical text as. Avant. There is only spelling is changed A W A D H, but in historical, that is in British language, we spell it A V A D H. Understand? And it's a region and proposed to state in the modern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, UP. Okay, which was before independent, known as the United Provinces of Agra. Okay, so this is all about Avant. Understand? So the question can be asked: When and where, how this independent kingdom began? Very simple thing: With the decline of the Mughal Empire, a number of provinces succeeded from the empire, and several independent states came into existence. Understand? So this is the rise of independent states in which century? It is in 18th century. Understand? You can note down. It is a 18th century. Now, Avant is bounded by the Ganges, though to the northwest, and Rohilkhand to the northwest, Nepal to the north, and Provincial to the east. That means Avant is bounded. The boundary of Avant comes. Gangas of Dob, that is from southwest to Rohilkhand to the northwest, Nepal to the north, and Provincial to the east. Understand? So its inhabitants, understand? The people who live there, its inhabitants are referred to a Avantias. Understand? Avantias. So the traditional capital of Avant is Lucknow. Also, the stations of the British resident, which now is the capital of Uttar Pradesh. Understand? Which is the capital of Uttar Pradesh? Lucknow is the capital of Uttar Pradesh, and earlier it was part of Avant. Understand? Yes, yeah, students. In the first paragraph, it is said about the decline of the Mughals. <laughs> Yes, students, let us get into the chapter now. Avant, yes. So before I speak about Avant, let us give get into little more introduction of Avant. Comprised that means comes under Banaras, Kanpur, Lucknow, Faizabad, and some districts near Allahabad. Write down. Sadat Khan, that is Burgan Mulk, was appointed governor of Avant by the Mughal emperor, who was the king Muhammad Shah. I write down Muhammad Shah. So Muhammad Shah, who was he? He was the later Mughals, one of the later nine Mughals. We have already learned about a puppet king. Who was that? Muhammad Shah. And in which year? Seventeen twenty-two. Write down seventeen twenty-two. But he soon became independent. Who? Sadat Khan Burgan Mulk became independent. He established a strong administrations. Crushed the power of the big zamindars and brought about law and order in Avant. Write down. Then again, the historians they say that his successor, who Sadaf Jang, gave Avant a long period of peace and prosperity. The authority of Avant rulers extended up to Rohilkhand, a territory to the east of Delhi. Under him. His capital, that I said already, it's a Lucknow, developed as a center of 
art and culture today uh, today if we go to lucknow we can see it's a city of art and culture satap jang was succeeded by his son shujit daulat he bought two famous battles you remember the battle third battle of panipat yes and then battle of buxar he was succeeded his eldest son who was that asaf ul daulat he moved his capital from vizyabad to lucknow he also built various monuments such as bada imam bada in lucknow understand yes so now let us read the chapter what is given so a short introduction given and what i said all those things are there in this paragraph you will go through the paragraph and you will make short notes with the explanations so that's all with the rise of independent kingdoms that is avant it belongs to northern part of india okay northern india and next we will go to the next southern part of india that is hyderabad we will come with the next video may god bless you take care